We're Pigeons playing ping pong from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we met in college at the University of Maryland and the dorm project turned into the real thing. We've been playing for over eight years. We've been touring the country for four to five years and just having a blast spreading our high energy psychedelic funk and good vibes. Um, we like to bring the party and, and show people a diverse time that is positive and fun and um, everyone leaves a happier person. And uh, we also like to get down and dirty with our funk jams too. So we're here at Irving Plaza tonight, which is a monster venue in New York City. And uh, it's pretty wild that the uh, dorm days have turned into something like this, but we're just focusing on writing better songs every day, you know, making sure we have the right gear and then practicing with it. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been a crazy ride that's for us hopefully just beginning. We write songs in different ways. Uh, we all practice at home on our own, so that naturally you're gonna end up with song ideas as you're playing at home. And sometimes they're full-fledged, you know, if that idea strikes hot, you write out full-fledged parts for the most part and bring it to practice. That doesn't happen as often as you have a piece of an idea and you show it to your friends and we start jamming it and filling it out and giving our input musically and speaking to with each other. Um, and then when we still practice about once a week if we can, if not more. And uh, within that, we just jam for hours. Uh, we work on other material too, but we jam for a while. And if, if we're having a tight groove, I might want to sing some vocals over it. That could be a song. There's no set structure to how we write songs, but we just try to approach it democratically, no egos, just if we have a song idea and the rest of the minds of the band want to take it into a different direction, you can't stand steadfast on that idea, you have to let it morph, and that is a more interesting product, having four minds on it than one. So uh, that's something that every band realizes is that we continue to work on, is to morph the, the, uh, an initial idea into something creative together. I was just going to say, I think it's uh, very important that we all have different tastes, like you're saying, that we work together to form you know, what the Pigeons like, taste is. And with that, um, with that in mind, we shape our songs, even if they're fully developed or not fully developed, we're still working to like shape it to make it sound as much as the four of us agree upon sounds good as possible, which leads to some very interesting territory. Yeah, we like to think that the input of four minds is better than oh, one person writing all the parts and having it because it can be very sterile sounding and unilateral, even if it doesn't try to be. We're just trying to write better songs than yesterday, really. So we, we still keep the bar pretty low, but raise it, you know, <laughs> over time, you'll get there. <laughs> When you tour as much as we do, you're gonna spend a lot of time together and in tight spaces in the van, that's where we live. So we recommend young bands bring a therapist. That's why we have <laughs> Emu the Glorious travels with us and whenever there's some petty bickering or stuff like that, Emu steps in and puts a smile on our face. We also carry around the skull of people who have scorned us. <laughs> so we're all pretty nice to each other because of that, because no one knows exactly what happened, but we know we don't want it to happen it's to us. first them type of scenario. As you can see, we're clearly insane. <laughs> I think uh, the key thing about being a touring band is just have fun with it. And always remember, you know, you're going around playing music for people. And, I mean, that should be what you love to do. If not, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> right. Yeah, don't take yourself too seriously and have fun. If you're having fun, then it doesn't, nothing else really matters to an extent, I find, in life, you know. Obviously, as you get older, that becomes a little harder to say, but I think if you stick to your guns of, like, typical do-what-you-love thing, it all kind of works out, and be good to each other, and, and yeah, just, just spread, spread a good time. You can't really go wrong with that. We've had a lot of really fortunate, awesome gigs. Uh, here in New York City, we played at the what was the Best Buy Theater, um, now the PlayStation Theater, which is the monster 2,000-person venue. It's the bigger. Um, sound's just amazing. Uh, this last summer we played at Peach Fest, which is a monster festival in Pennsylvania, and we happened to play in the daytime over the overseeing the wave pool and the different like water slides, and everyone just had so much fun with it. Um, we had such a good time, and uh, honestly, like our favorite time of the year is always our music festival Dome Fest. Uh, him and I throw a music festival for three nights in Pennsylvania that is just. Uh, an amazing vibe and it's uh, regionally touring bands, national and semi-national bands, bringing uh, the hottest new jam music uh, in the scene every spring. So there's too many shows to count really. We try to put, we try to play every show like it's the last show we're ever going to play in the biggest venue we've ever seen 